channel if this is your first time here then hello welcome if you're returning welcome back it is two o'clock in the morning i went to bed at 11 30 and i worked yesterday a 12 hour shift so i'm tired if you want to know why am i up so early it is because today is surgery day um I've had several vlogs before today and I have not said anything about this about this <laughs> about today but today is brain surgery day if you know me personally you know my family personally you know that my mom has Chiari malformation and that excuse me in June she had brain surgery before they actually opened up her school and performed brain surgery a decompression surgery for her Chiari malformation which she was diagnosed with um not too long before that now we are here for part two for her idiopathic hypertension no idiopathic intracranial hypertension I'll break all this stuff down later. I'm kind of on a crunch right now because I got up at 2. We have to be going at 3. She has to be at the hospital by 5.30. We are going to go ahead and get started with our day and see where today takes us. So, see you guys on the way. He is out. Hi. How you feel? Exhausted. Exhausted. You haven't been asleep. It's my bedtime. What have you been doing? Well, let's go ahead and put the quick plug in. What are you wearing? Oh. <laughs> Glad you asked. <laughs> it's my Bebo hoodie from a blessing.com. A blessing.com. Blessing oh, is that like A B L E S S N? You are correct. What? Yeah. Pretty comfy, nice, great material, great color, great design. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yes. Nice, nice. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's called cut and paste. Oh, okay. How are you feeling? Um, anxious because I can't wear deodorant. Ooh. And or lotion or smell good. So I'm trying to be really still so I don't start sweating. Well, you shouldn't start stinking until like, <laughs> until like, you know, it's like way later. No, boo. When you know you can't wear deodorant, it's like a conscious thing. Like you instantly start like, um. You know what? You got a point. Because when I forget to wear deodorant, yeah, you I'd be start, like, oh, do you I start, Yes. You, <laughs> you start itching? Start, yes. You instantly start <laughs> freaking sweating because you know you don't have on deodorant. You can be uncomfortable. Your uh, underarm's going to be popping. I, that's how I feel already. Because I already know I don't have on deodorant. What time is it? Three something. It's not something. It's 2.59. Oh, I got time. I got a whole minute. What? What you doing with that minute? Brushing my teeth. You know you brush your feet more than a minute. I do. I gotta get it. You look tired. I am. Mm. So we're here. Yep. How do you feel? You hungry? Me too. I'm hungry too. I'm usually not hungry in the morning if I don't eat dinner. So I didn't eat dinner last night, but I think it's um because we're up like super, super early. Or because it's because I know I can't eat. <laughs> I'm like so cold. I've been drinking water. And it's kind of helping, but not really. I usually have coffee in the morning. What is IIH? Idiopathic dental cranial 
hypertension, also known as pseudo tumor cerebri. So my brain thinks that it has a tumor, even though it doesn't. So it produces like an abundance of um, cerebral spinal fluid trying to flush out the tumor that it does not have. And there's no place for it to go. So um, it's not able to funnel out the fluid fast enough. And it like pushed my brain down um, somewhat. And it actually blocked my magnum form, which is the space um, at the bottom of your opening of your um, spine. So my, <laughs> hey guy, my cere cerebellum was like blocking the opening uh, of my mag magnum form. So uh, my CFF, CSF fluid, um, CSF wasn't able to flow up and down properly. So I had like all of this buildup of all this fluid in my brain because not only was my brain producing way too much, it wasn't even able to properly um, flow back and forth. So the first surgery was to uh, remove part of my um, spine, I mean, sorry, part of my skull to be able to allow the pressure to be taken off of my cerebellum. And that was her Chiari. For my Chiari malformation, that's what the first surgery is called. Um, her decompression surgery. My decompression surgery. And now this one is to give me what is called a shunt, which is like a straw, almost like it goes all the way up from my lumbar, it's a little lumbar, all the way up like through my spine to allow the fluid to drain all the way down my lumbar all the way down my spine, through my, um, and then drain into my stomach so that I can take the pressure off of my brain. So and she should be home tomorrow, hopefully. Last time they said it would be like an overnight stay. No, it's Tuesday. Two, two night stay, and she ended up staying for a week. So we're hoping this time it is actually an overnight stay. And she has no complications. So, complimentary coffee. I need some of that. You're addicted. I'm not addicted. You are. I'm not. You are. I'm not. It's what good. kind of coffee do I want? I like donut shop. I think. Fancy. Oh. oh. Yeah, our first try. We did it last time. You calling me dumb? Yes. I'll be back. Okay. Hey. <laughs> How you feeling? I got a PA. You got a catheter in? No. You got fluids. We're on the Blanket thing is amazing. This bear hugger? That's what it's called. This is called a bear hugger. Come on, nurse. You don't, I don't work at ER. Oh, okay. You don't have this on med surge. This is called a bear hugger, guys. Med surge don't have these. <laughs> um, Kyle, you want to sit in the chair? I want to sit. Kyle doesn't want to sit in the chair. Are you happy? This is ridiculous. He's happy, as long as he's happy. You happy now? Well, the twins and Juwan just got here. Oh, they did? Mm-hmm. 
I'm so dry. Your armpit lotion. stink? I haven't sweated yet. What is the pain level going to be after surgery? I don't know. He, he didn't say that this pain was like... He said the decompression, like the brain surgery, was like the worst pain I, I would ever feel. So, I'm not really worried. Because if that's the worst pain I've ever I would ever feel, I've had enough surgeries that if this if that's the worst pain, then I'm not really worried at all. If I survive the brain surgery, I should be okay. Okay, bye bye. I'll see you later. I see you when I wake up. See ya. I see you when I wake up. Alrighty. All right. Love, Love you too. Here we. You see Nina later? You see Nina later? All right, so it is now like 7 20 and we are headed to get breakfast. Um, we've been to this hospital before, so I know where it's at. Their food is okay. It's not like, I don't know, we, had, we were eating McDonald's last time we were here, so I hope they have some good selections for breakfast. Oh. They got fruit. You want fruit? Excuse me. They got fruit, Kai. You want fruit? You want a bagel? Oh, it's really cute in here. Surgery started at 7 35, and about two hours later, the doctor came out and said that everything went smoothly and she is now in recovery. So now we are just waiting for her to so we can go see her. And everyone else is asleep. And I'm up because Kai is. Why wait? But he's sleeping. Yeah. Hey. Hey, girl. Hi, mommy. Hey. Hey. You look way better than you did from your first surgery. Right. I'm sure. I told you. you. Awake. Well, I am. You know, last time you were awake, but not awake. I need some Carmex. Oh, Lord. Where's your bag? Oh, I'm going to take at it. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Um, a little tender in my stomach area. Um, because it's like right in the middle of my muscles. Like, literally, I'm cut right here. Mm -hmm. So, of course, like... They cut you open? Huh? They cut you open? I am, and I'm cutting the back too, like in my lumbar area, but this is where my drain is. So if you cough, you crunch your muscles, whatever, like every time you like breathe in, it's literally right here. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me. And, you know, your voice is really scratchy after, you know, surgery because of the tube that they put down your throat when you, you know, um, when they put you to sleep. So you coughing and you crunch that muscle and you're like, oh, you know. You feel like you got punched? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how you feel. And of course, I don't want to be paying it. You got a really pretty view. Right, I was like, man. <laughs> I noticed That's going to be really nice yeah. at nighttime. I noticed in the uh, hallway. I was like, oh. Right, especially those kids. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, see you tomorrow. Good night. Love you, Mom. Hey, Coco. Hi. It is now 6.31. We're at my aunt's house in Lawrenceville. And so we went. Justin and Imani. Hey. Hi. 
my first like meal mm. of the day because I didn't eat my breakfast and I didn't really like it. I had Kai French toast. I got me a bagel, but the bagel didn't taste good. And I had my cousin taste it just to make sure I wasn't tripping. The French yeah. toast was actually really good. <laughs> you want a French fry? Mm. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. My mom is on a 24 hour flat, meaning that she is supposed to lay flat, completely fat on, flat, completely fat, completely flat on her back for 24 hours. She is able to eat. I think she was moved to solids for dinner and she's a really good spirit. So when we left, we talked on the phone for a bit before we came back and took a nap. I was exhausted. Um, what else happened? Her surgery was like a total of like two hours. It started on time this time compared to the last time during the summer where it was delayed and then the surgery was like five hours or so. So this time it was much more quicker. But it still took a long time because we had to get up at two o'clock and leave at three o'clock. And we didn't actually end up getting to my aunt's house until like three something, like 3.30ish in the afternoon. And then I ended up taking a nap. So I'm just now eating. But I'm going to wrap up this vlog here because it was just for today what we were doing. And if anything happens tomorrow and she doesn't go home, then I'll vlog what's going on as an update for people who have Kiari that may come across the video or uh, IIH so they can kind of see, you know, how it goes. Because I told her she should vlog. And she did make a video. I will put her Kiari malformation information video of her story and what led to it and how she found out, how she dealt with it, how she coped, all that kind of stuff in my description box. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, check out her channel, check out her video. And until next time, guys.